What is up? I'm back. I'm playing Soul Soul Survivors today. Not be anything. We're trying to try out. We're trying to try it out. So I've never played this game. Have no idea what to expect. The game's a little bit loud. I turned it down a little bit. So I know that lots of people like this Bolt Heaven. I know that it is still in early access and that there are lots of stuff that are cool about this game. Requires achievement level 10 to reach the Barbarian. And there's a lot of progression, I heard. So, it doesn't look like it's as much as, what, what's that one? Oh, the demon one, Spellbook Demons. Spellbook Demons was, I actually just played that yesterday. And wow, that game is amazing. I only played it for 30 minutes and that was great. I've been really trying to get past Crucible 14 for Peglin. Auto level up. Oh, nice. You can turn that on and off. Disable enemy health bar. I don't want to do that. Tool tips in game. Crosshair. Damage numbers. Damage number colors. When this option is enabled, damage number... will have different colors for each effect such as burn, poison, doom. Huh. Individual damage numbers. If damage numbers are enabled, this option will make it for so make it so instead of stacking number damage into a single number, each damage source will create a new damage number on screen. This option will lead to performance issues and is not recommended for high intensity scenarios such as endless runs. I'm not going to turn that one on. Okay, mouse and keyboard. I'm going to turn on 1080p just for I don't have it run into any issues. Oh yeah. I can tell the difference between 1080p and 4K. That's fine. All right, let's see. How long I can win a run, or fin how long I can last in a run. That's what I'm trying to say. I do like the graphics. I know that they're using Unity assets because they're polygon people. And I've seen those assets in actually shops before. I actually have some of those assets. <laughs> A lot of people use those, but that's fine. Those are there to be used. And that does not mean that you don't make a good game. Use what is given. Well, no, those are not given. You have to pay for those, those assets. If you want to make a game, I suggest trying out I don't think unity is a great engine actually I, I heard that there's a, like the people that bought them is a shady company let's go fury let's do this but 
probably game maker either game maker or if you want to make a rpg kind of like mine or rpg just and start out uh rpg maker is really good too for making games you won't make something like this though You need one of those other engines to make one of these. The bullet heaven. The music's kind of low in game. Well, during this screen, of course, it would be low. All your attacks have 25% chance of applying burn to the target. Nice. No, it sounds the sounds good right now. All right. So there's a boss over here. There's a boss. We got to get it. You got to get the boss. Create a void at random position that pulls the enemy into a large crater. That sounds cool. Oh, the, I just had a, like a jump pad or something. I don't know. I just hit something. It jumped up. Increase your critical damage modifier by additional 10%. Increase your aura area modifier by additional 10%. Increase the area effect of all skills and the size of all projectiles. Wow, that one sounds dope. Venomous. All attacks have 30% chance to apply poison. Yos. Thank you. Let's go with shadow spikes are summoned from the ground. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds cool. Oh, so it's like that one. That's one. Okay. Whoa. There's a big guy coming after me. The big guy coming after me. Increase your movement speed modifier by additional 10%. Increase your critical damage modifier by additional 24%. Uncommon. Okay, so there's uncommon and common stuff. There's a lot to this game. I will go with quick strike, perform quick strikes in front of you, dealing 170 damage. Or could I get throw a bomb in front of you, dealing 270 damage in an area and exploding into 15 projectiles flying in all directions, each dealing 45 damage and applying bleed. Bleed deals 80 damage over time. Well, that sounds amazing. Yo, there's a big guy. There's a big one. And its effect area is humongous. All right, I have a rare power. Increase your area modifier by an additional 10, 15%. Increase the area of effect of all your skills and the area of projectiles. Nice. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. That's one. Oh, there's a other one coming. There's elites. Elite enemies. Oh, let's grab magnet. Now I can get more XP. Magnet the XP. Magnet the XP. 
All right, active skill. I can get a new other active skill. Leave a permanent trail in the ground that explodes when an enemy steps on it. Do I have to press a button for those? No, probably not. A powerful strike in the direction you are aiming. Now, fire three lightning projectiles towards a random enemy, piercing through enemy in line, each causing 70 damage and inflicting dazed. Okay. And dazed just like stuns the enemy. Okay. Interesting. Increase your block. Let's go with... All attacks have 40% chance to slow enemies. That sounds good. Increase the damage modifier of the bolt skill by additional 30%. All your attacks have 30%. No, let's just go with that. I don't want to do poison. Throw a... Oh, uh, poison bomb sounds cool. Oh, I have to get rid of one of these. If I want to get poison bomb. Here, I don't like shadow, the shadow one too much. I'll get the poison bomb over that. Every time you apply a stack of doom... This is 30% chance of playing dazed as well. Doom? Am I applying doom to anything? Every time you apply a stack up bleed, there's a 40% well, yeah. Now there's a 40% chance of playing poison when I apply bleed. Which is amazing and good. It sounds amazing. Empower you and your nearby allies, increasing the movement speed modifier. Replace cho choices with passive. Oh. I can switch over from one of the active skills to just a pass power okay well i can start applying doom now increase your damage modifier of sharp bomb by additional 30 percent let's go with that grab more bomb damage with the poison or poison or whatever increase damage modifier of additional with power strike and let's go with increase damage modifier of the whirlwind ability that's my base ability My base after skill. Increase your multi cast by additional 8%. Increase the chance of activating all your skills multiple times. Wow. Sounds good. Uh, I'm getting hit. Increase your armor by 16. I will do that. I shall do that. I think there's a way to heal because I was healing. I had I had more health after a while. Increase your damage modifier by additional 15%. That sounds good. Increase your movement speed modifier by additional 10%. Or get a legendary power. Increase the multi cast chance of all your skills types magical by additional 48 percent same effect is also applied to units summoned by the skill of this type 
Increase the type of all effective skills by one. Whoa. Increase the damage modifier of the poison bomb skill by additional 45%. Sounds good. And then empower you and all your nearby allies, increasing the movement speed. Actually, no. Increase the multicast of... Yeah, let's go with that. One of my powers has got more multicast ability. Increase your critical chance. Yes. Critical chance damage. Sounds good. Let's increase the cast frequency modifier by additional 5%. All right. Increase the damage of sharp objects. I think that's the one that I throw the blades on the ground and cause a bunch of bleed. Increase the damage modifier by additional 20%, but subtract 10% from your movement speed. What is my movement speed right now? Also, I have a skill point. Oh, I spend that. Yeah. Okay. How do you check my movement speed? I don't think there is a way to check it. Space? Yeah, I don't, I don't think there is. Yikes, I have to take this then. Or one of these. I'll just increase my movement speed. I like the increase my movement speed more. I don't want to decrease my movement speed. Increase the damage modifier of all void skill by additional 30%. Nice. Well, we have a big one. We have a big one. We got a big one. He is a big one. You got a big demon. You got a big demon. Increase your area modifier by additional 15%. Increase the area of effect of all your skills and the size of all your projectiles. Nice. Sounds good. All your attacks have 30% chance to apply poison. Sounds good. Uh, increase your area effect. Increase the critical damage. Modifier. Yeah. Increase critical damage modifiers. Pretty good sounding. Oh, we got stuff trying to kill me with poison now. Our stuff trying to kill me. Increase the damage modifier of the Fury skill by additional 45%. Yes. Into the void. The void. Check the void. And then die. Increase the multicast. Oh, increase maximum health by 30. Your current health is ejection portionally. Alright, so I get more. I get the health too. That's good to know.
It's just chaos on the screen. I don't know what's going on. Increase the area of effect modifier of poison bomb. Increase the damage modifier by additional 10%. Alright, this is quite the floor with enemies. Am I just getting lucky or is it just like this easy to play this game? Yo, there's a big one. Oh, shoot. It's sending out a ton of st red stuff. And it's doing little, some laser beam. It's doing Kamehameha at me. What the heck? I'm outside your laser beam attack. Uh huh. Increase your block power by 8%. Alright. Increase your... The... Void attack. Increase your multicast by an additional 20%. Increase the chance of activating all your skills multiple times. Nice. That was a legendary power. All your hits have chance to do poison. Sounds good. I took some hits there. That's okay. That is fine. That is fine. Man, this is just chaos. Chaos! Every time you apply a sack of burn, there's a 50% chance of playing slow. So now I have a chance of playing slow on enemies when I play blurn. Burn. Burn. Not blurn. Whatever blurn is. Blurn. Eliminate the Lord of the Vault. Three of five. So I only have to kill two more bosses and then I win. Increase your critical chance damage by additional 10%. Eliminate monsters summoned by the Lord by a Lord. I'm almost at 2000. So I just summon the Lord, the land. Increase the attack modifier of Fury. Yeah, I'll do that. Whoa. I took some hits there. Oh, I'm taking hits. I'm taking hits. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. All tax pipe doom. Where's this lord? Where's the lord at?
You know, I don't know what's healing me, but I got some health back and I'm very appreciative of that. <laughs> I just got flung across the map. No, I got defeated. Ah, uh, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was fun. Unlock that character. I don't know what to unlock. There's so much stuff. I can increase my health. If you want to watch some more videos, there's a two on the side over here. If you want to pick up the game for yourself, there's a link in the description below to the Steam page. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And I will see you next video. Bye.